guys, Willow here and welcome back to Willow's Witchy Garden. Today um, I am going to be showing you how I'm up potting my peppers, why I'm starting another round of peppers, and some of the challenges I've had along the way. So let's get started up potting these peppers because I'm going to need them soon. So let's get started up potting these peppers. But first, let me explain why I started a whole new batch of peppers. Um, I didn't start as many this time. I started six different types, but we have had such bad rain here in New Orleans that I ended up getting bacteria, bacterial wilt on probably 90% of my pepper plants, and I've lost them all. So now I'm starting over. I recently purchased a green stalk five tier planter, the original one, and I'm going to give it a shot to plant some peppers in it. But first, these need a few more weeks to get a little bit bigger. They've got their, their second set of true leaves. So I'm gonna go ahead and up pot these today. I've got sweet chocolate, which is a, a sweet pepper. <laughs> Excuse the garbage guys, they like to be really loud. <laughs> We've got Murasaki Purple. I've got four of those that are gonna up pot. I did plant more lipstick because I lost those. I have an Anaheim. I've got a, ooh, a Loot Shower Paprika. And and I, I'm probably gonna just butcher this at at Twudia. Um, it's another sweet pepper. So I've got these. I'm going to transplant these into four inch pots now into regular soil. And uh, I've already got my soil measured out into the pots. So we're going to get started. I'll show you how I do that. And then I'll talk about how I still have to harden these off to get them ready for the green stock. First, I want to talk about how to get your plants, your little starts out of these pots. I have the really cheapy little six packs here. They're not the large ones, they're the smaller ones, but they're not the, the micro ones. They're kind of the in-between size. But these are pretty simple to get out. I just squeeze them to loosen them up. I grab them at the base. And as you can see, get that kind of close. They are ready for up potting. They're actually starting to spiral. I probably should have got these in new pots sooner. But what I do is I just take your little four inch pot. I'm gonna open it up a little bit, put a little hole down here in the middle. We will drop that inside. I have another pot here with some soil in it. So I didn't have to bring you over to the bag. I am using a Kellogg's Organic potting mix. It is for containers. And, and there you go. So I have a lot of peppers to do here. I'm going to go ahead and get them all done. But then I want to talk about what happens and how bacteria can get in your soil and how it can destroy your harvest. So I'll be right back, but I've got a lot of peppers to plant. So all together, we have 29 pepper starts. Now, I'm really excited how healthy they're looking. I know they'll probably get a little plant shock or a little transplant shock, but that's okay. They're going to perk up. I'm going to continue to bring them in and out to harden them off to get them used to the heat that we have now outside. I do keep my seedling room rather warm. I keep it at about 78 degrees. So they are used to that. Um, the humidity may be not as high as what it is out here. I keep it around 40% humidity in the room. But as you can see, they all look pretty good. They all have their second set of leaves. They all have really nice roots. And so now we'll see how well they do. And they will be, some of them, I'm going to try to put like 12 of them in a green stock planter which I will show you in a future video. I also want to show you a few of the peppers that I do have left. I have this little gypsy sweet pepper. It's a smaller type of fruit. They're not real big. Uh, I just let them stay on the vine until they're about uh, a little bit of orange on them. That's about the full size. They just need to get orange. 
Um, I did harvest one jalapeno off this plant today. Now that was a start that I picked up at Lowe's this year. Um, it was over here in this area and away from the others. And so far it has done okay. However, I did have an orange bell in here that I had to pull this morning because it was completely dead as well. Now I know it was not from lack of water. It, it could have been over watering from the rain but what I'm really feeling is it was a form of bacteria. And this pot, this, this uh, yeah, milk crate that I used last year, I refreshed the soil, but it could have still had something in it um, that could have caused that bacterial wilt again, even on that orange bell. Over here, I still have one corbachi, one banana pepper, and one poblano. And you know, it's the heat of the day, so they're not looking real perky, but they're not dying. So I'm happy with that. Um, it looks like my habanada is not doing so well, but you know, I like I said, all this area back here was flooded, and I think it's caused so many issues in this garden this year. It's sad, but it's a fact of gardening. So, you know, I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, and the ugly, and unfortunately losing most of my peppers was the ugly. These two are from Haas Tools and they are roulette heatless habaneros and I'm hoping that I get some of uh, those peppers this year. These I actually put outside of the fence. I decided to try something completely different with these. Let's see if this works. I also planted them with a small cherry tomato plant called the uh, Sweetheart Cherry. So I'm gonna just do this experiment and see if this works to plant these peppers and that tomato together. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video today. I know it wasn't a real long one. I just wanted to show you what I was doing with my peppers to try to, I guess, recoup my losses this year from all the flooding. Um, I do hope you learned something about it. For one, to never give up, you know, I've struggled this year. I thought this year is going to be the best pepper year ever. Last year, I had a mammoth jalapeno give me over 300 peppers. I was like overrun with jalapenos. Um, and I used them all through the winter. I, I froze them and I kept putting them in a lot of dishes that I was making. And I just was looking so forward to having so many peppers this year. I had planted 38 pepper plants all together and I lost most of them. I think, let me count, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have eight peppers left. That's pretty sad. No, wait a minute, I have 11. I forgot my shishitos, they are still alive. But they were not in that flood area. So I know now that the flood most likely killed off all of my all of the peppers. Um, it did cause some damage to other things as well. Um, but I have replanted in those areas. I now have lots of zinnias coming up. I have lots of calendula coming up. I even planted some basil over there. It, whatever that bacteria wilt was, it did not cause any damage to my basil plants. So I thought, well, if I can grow basil there, I'll grow more basil. I don't think you can ever have enough basil. I've dried so much last year and I plan on drying a lot this year. Did you know that you can use basil in cooking and also in your magical work? That's gonna be a future video on my other channel, Willow's, uh, Willow Le Machant, Divine Magic. So, you know, stay tuned for that if you wanna watch that kind of a video. But I hope you got something out of this one. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like this content. Leave me comments so I know what you think. Maybe you've got some suggestions. Maybe you had bacteria wilt on your peppers too. It's been a rough year. But here in New Orleans, we do get a lot of flooding. We get a lot of rain. But this year, we've literally had twice the rain levels, they said, as we did last spring. Way above normal. And so, yeah, I think we're all kind of suffering from that. And I'm in a definite flood zone. My house had to be raised in 2019, four feet up, because I had four floods in three years. It was horrible. So 
I know that I'm going to have to deal with this ongoing. I'm hoping that the green stock will help and I know I can plant 30 different plants in there. So there's 30 different growing spots on that tower. So I'm getting that ready today and I'll show you that video, how I prepare it. And I wanna compare also the Dollar Tree stackables with the green stalk and show you side-by-side -side comparisons. So I hope that you may follow me on Facebook and on Instagram as well. I will put all of those links in the description down below and until next time stay healthy and be blessed